Make you play defense. They test you and then pull out. Dodging from behind, Teat working on Bomberry, knocked to the ground. Bomberry takes another it guy away. that's voted one of the leaders on the team this year, Tyson Bomberry. What's that mean to be signaled out by uh, your fellow teammates here this year? Uh, it's definitely a really big honor to be uh, chosen as captain to lead the team and stuff. So it's definitely a huge honor, and I've, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good season. Another one of the guys voted with you on defense was Austin Fusco. When you look at his leadership and kind of where he took off in that role. How, how much does he stand out as a guy that's going to really lead this team this year? Uh, he's honestly been one of the best leaders I've ever been a part of, and I've been on a lot of like really good teams and had a lot of really good leaders, and I think he's definitely one of the strongest leaders that I've ever like been a chance, like been able to like play for and play with. And uh, he's just a guy that like he'll he'll lay, he'll do anything for you. He'll lay everything he's got for you, and you know that you know in day in and day out he's bringing his best, and he's going to make sure everybody else brings their best as well. Take me back to the end of last season. A frustrating loss, obviously, in the quarters. How much did that drive you guys in the off season to get ready for this year? It's, I, I mean, any loss drives anyone to get better. But I think last year we just kind of took that as like a kind of like a learning thing. Uh, being able two years in a row being beat out in the quarterfinals. It's always tough to do that, but I mean, we do, every year we just try to come back and be better, stronger, and faster every year. So. On defense, uh, you're back. Marcus Cunningham is back. You're adding Nick Mellon back to the mix to replace uh, Scott Furman, who's gone. How do you three as a group feel right now? Uh, I think we feel really good. I think our team is we're starting to mesh really well mm -hmm. defensively as a, as a unit. Uh, it's really nice having Mellon back. Uh, you can't really replace a guy like Furman, but Having a guy like Mellon who's, who has really good cover skills like he does and bringing Marcus back and just having that uh, connection that Marcus and I had defensively last year is always really nice and it's, it's going to be really awesome to see Mellon come back into the fold, I guess. Uh, Coach Desco signaled you out as a communicator in that group. How important is that this year especially? Because we know how good Evan was at that with a, going to be a different goalie, probably Dom back there behind you, to have someone that has some experience out there letting people know it's what. Uh, communication is definitely the biggest part of defense as like in lacrosse as in general. Being able to communicate to your teammates and everything, uh, where you got to be, who's going to be where and when you're going to be there. Knowing that, if, if as long as everyone's talking primarily, it's going to be it's like the defense does really well. It doesn't matter really how good a person is if they don't talk, then it's going to be it's tough to be as a defensive unit than it is. So talking is definitely the most one of the most important parts of defenses in general. What have you seen out of Don Madonna in goal so far? Because he didn't get to play a lot in games last year, but coach says he's do, handling it well in practice. Yeah, he's been doing really well in practice. He's been making a lot of saves. He's making all the saves that he's supposed to make, and he's making some that are that sometimes goalies aren't really supposed to make. So it's awesome being able to see him make some really big saves in practice and uh, stuff like that. So he's doing really well in that. He's doing really well with the clearing and stuff, communicating as well. So I think we're going to have another really good goalie with us again this year. It was pretty cool last year to see both you and your cousin Brendan out there, and I think you connected on a goal at one point. Uh, you guys have any cool things planned for this year? You're hoping to do that again? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully there's more of that to come. Uh, nothing. I always love playing with Brendan and stuff, so it's always we always have that connection. We've been playing together since we were like three years old, so it's always really nice. All right, lastly, Tyson, about a month here till it starts for real. What's the most important thing that stands out you guys need to accomplish before the season really starts? Uh, really just polishing ourselves. I think just being polished up on everything that we do, like communica communication, stick skills, and uh, just being working together as a unit, just, just polishing it up. All right, Tyson, we'll let you get to that, and we'll see you in a month.